this is Nikki from Nikki's Crafting Corner. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with my idea book because I have an idea and I want to show you what this is. So let me put this away for a moment. Today I want to do something with this decluttered comic book and let me show you what kind of idea I have. So first I have to take out some pages and I'm using my craft knife for this so gently cutting some pages of this book And then I want to do uh, what and then what I want to do next is I want to glue these onto these leftover file folder strips. These look like this and I'm just taking off all these metal things. And I'm using this for the staple. And then I can open this up and I want to smooth out this fold. So I'm just going over this with my letter opener, like this. Okay. Now I can glue my pages onto these strips and I want to use some clear glue for this project. So let me show you the glue. <coughs> This is what I'm using. Um, I got this from a kind of dollar store and I'm just putting on the glue with a straight big brush. So just like this. I need a little bit more glue. And then I'm just putting down my pages like this and I don't want to have too much of this wide edge so I will just rip this off. And this will be upside down but that's okay. A little bit more glue. Okay. This has to dry now. Let's do the other one. I have already done uh, some strips and um, they are dry and I have cut them and let me show you what they look like now. So as you can see I have cut different sizes. I've cut some really small ones and some kind of square ones. They look like inches 
they are oh, nearly one and a half inches by one and a half and I've just turned my strips upside down and cut and didn't look at the images so this is what I got I have lots more <laughs> Okay, my next step is I want to round the corners. I'm doing this with my smallest corner punch. Like this. And then they are already really cute little pieces. Um, I want to distress the edges with my shoe polish because I really like the color and then I already have some really cute kind of labels like this so let me punch a hole in this piece and then this is ready to go and an embellishment for something. So let's see what we can do with this one. I've got these color samples from a local store and I thought that this would be perfect as a dangle on this sample because there already is a hole in it. Oh yeah, that's cute. I don't want to have the same colors here, this light blue, but that's cute. And I think I need something neutral underneath, so perhaps some book page. Um, let's see what it would look like with book page. Let me rip a piece off. Like this. Oh, that's cute. So let me punch a hole in this page too. I could reinforce this because um, this paper is really thin and brittle. Okay, now we have this. And Perhaps we need some fabric. Okay, this is a piece of a shawl. I have already cut for my general projects. And I think I want a small strip. Like this. Yeah, so this is already a cute um, something. <laughs> um, let's take out a ball pin and then this is ready to go into a journal. Okay, I think I want to have a blue one. So let's put everything on. Like this. You could reinforce other paper with uh, reinforcement rings or something. So you could always go further and you can cover this and the back with some paper to journal on. So um, that's really up to you what you do. But I think this is really cute. So let's take out the idea journal. And let's find a place for this little thing. Here it is. Hope I'm in frame. So let's see. Where do I want to attach this? Oh, this would be a perfect place, but I already have something on this.
paper uh, I need a sturdy page and then I can just put this onto the page oh here is a hole oh yeah that's cute because of the blue here so let's use some reinforcement rings and I want to distress this a little bit like this and then I want to put a ring on this page and on the opposite side as well okay there's my reinforcement ring and then I can just put in my pin and there we have it. You have a cute little dangle with something different on top. Great. Okay, I have another idea. This is another strip of this um, of these file folders, and I have already collaged on top. I have used different book pages, um, some pieces of map some small pieces from a paper pad with pretty paper and these colors are kind of neutral um, this was on purpose and I thought I could jazz this up a little bit with some pieces of these comic book strips so let's see oh this is Donald Oh, really cute and I'm looking for colors and sometimes I want to have a certain image but yeah I think this is something special and really cute perhaps one more Okay, I want to round the corners of all my little pieces and I want to distress all the edges and then I will be back. All my pieces are rounded uh, on the corners and I have distressed everything and now I can start to glue these down on my piece. So let's see how I want these to go on here yeah and I have brought some fabric perhaps I want to um, put some fabric underneath as well so let's see Oh, that's cute. And I have this. Oh yeah, I like this. Um, I like that. This gives a little bit more extra texture. Um. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's enough and now I can start to glue things on.
So let me get my idea book and show you some possibilities for this piece. Um, you can use a part of this as a belly band like this or like this. You could cut a piece off and use this as a pocket or a tuck spot in a book. You could use this as a page edge. This would be really cute. So there are so many possibilities. You could even glue this down like this and then you have a corner tuck spot. So yeah, this is fun and different and yeah, I really like that. So. I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this and I see you in my next video. Bye!